Good girl. Hi. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday today, and Rachel was pouring herself some water. Um, I try not to stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays so that we can get things done. We're about to go to the post office. We're about to do a bunch of stuff like that. I got to put together another table today. I got to mow the backyard. We got a pretty big agenda, right, babe? Yep. So we're gonna get after. We just pulled up to the UPS store, and Rachel just said she wants Chinese food. So are we gonna do that for lunch? Also, we're about to mail the giveaway. So for those of you that won the giveaway from the stream a while back, I'm. I'm not sending it out, Rachel is, because she's better at this kind of stuff than me. So we're finally sending that out. Do you want to get Chinese food for lunch? Uh, I don't know. We might get Chinese food for lunch. We just got done grabbing some stuff from uh, the other house where Rachel lived for a long time and where honestly I lived for a lot of the time that you guys knew me. So we got some stuff from there, moving it out. I'm getting kind of hungry, are you getting hungry? I just getting hungry too, so we're gonna figure out uh, what we're gonna do for lunch. Yeah. So we didn't get Chinese food. We're eating in Common Market in Plaza Midwood. Rachel's on the phone with Amber. I'm eating some chili lime chips. I'll entertain you. And a club sandwich because club sandwiches are one of my favorite sandwiches, as you guys know. I don't know what Rachel's eating. It's kind of a club. It has turkey and whatnot on it. But we're gonna be here for a little bit and then head home. Question for you guys is what is your favorite type of gummy? What's yours? Do you have one? <clears throat> I like the sour watermelon slices. Sour watermelon slices, which are by Sour Patch, correct? Um, I, I believe they're unclear. Sour Patch. Um, so comment down below. What is your favorite type of gummy candy? Mine is probably. Oh, this is tough. Because lemon heads aren't gummy. Mm -hmm. Neither are cherry salads. That's true. I do like uh, sour straws from the movie theater. You ever had sour straws? Sour straws are really good. Just finished at the Y. Had a little tiny workout. It's insane how quickly you, you know, get out of your groove and get out of shape. I did so good. I was even working out on the honeymoon, and then I took a little break when things got crazy when I got back. So I'm easing my way back in while Michael's at home filming some stuff with Nick. Now I'm going for a little walk and I'm just gonna hang out. So let's see what I get up to. Unfortunately, Smelly Cat closes at 3 today. So instead, I stopped by Trade and Lore. It's really interesting. So there's a beer store called Salud. They used to have a restaurant called Food at Salud that also has a brewery called Salud Cerveceria. And upstairs, they have a bar. So inside the bar is a little coffee shop called Trade and Lore. So I stopped by there, got a coffee, and then Amber called. And her party that she had gone to is over. Hey, and so she bye. asked if I wanted to come hang out at her house until Michael's done filming. So packed my stuff up, headed over there, and we'll see you in a minute. We should rename him 
Hunter bee. <laughs> Hunter bee. Hunter bee. Huckabee. raining and we were trying to figure out what to do with our time so Amber had the brilliant idea for us to take on Disney seen it Amber have you ever played this game before it's my favorite game and Brad will never play with me so I've succumbed to Rachel it's my turn you? <laughs> okay six should I turn the lights on here again Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Tigger! Shit. I'm bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, bouncy. Fun, 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 fun. What do you think about Tigger? I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I said that Louie and Billy should be. I'm trying to tell a story. Thank you. I think that Lucy and Millie should be Pooh and Tigger for Halloween. <gasps> Millie would be Tigger because she's bouncy and flouncy and fun, 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 fun. And Millie would, or and Louie would be Pooh? Pooh because she's got a big belly. Can you, who could be the eel? <gasps> you would be the best eel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he said I'm already gray. Surface. Oh. I have wine. We have pizza. Ooh. We have cheese sticks. Oh, wait, what? You have cheese mozzarella sticks? Mozzarella sticks? You have mozzarella sticks? Wait, do you just keep them in your freezer at all times? I'm kind of jealous. Oh. Oh! Dumper! Come back. Oh. Mine King. Huckabee, your mom is too good. <laughs> Ooh, you better watch. It's a word. A word. You first have to find the movie title. That's all the title? The, the Apple Dumpling Gang. What? The Freak is the Apple Dumpling Gang. I have no idea. 300 miles. Dumbo! It's a different film. But that's part Dumbo 2! Family Circus. Dumbo at the Circus. Dumbo's Big Adventure. Dumbo at the Circus. Dumbo and the Mouse at the Circus. <laughs> Dumbo's big circus tent. <laughs> Dumbo in the trapeze act. You're getting further. Dumbo rides the elephants. Operation Dumbo Drop. What? <laughs> what is that? And what Disney animated feature does a young emperor transform into a long- The emperor's gonna grab Oh, Dumbo. Oh, oh hit me. Somebody hit me! <laughs> jungle to jungle. No, but that's a great one. Oh, that one's good. Pinocchio. <laughs> Brave little toaster. That would be Buzz Lightyear? You get to pick anyone you want. I would like a question from the card, please. I'd like whichever one is best. <laughs> so if I get it right, I win the game. If I don't get it right, you have a chance. Okay. 
What if I knock you out and you can't? It's now or never, folks. <laughs> Come on. Please do something. Else. Ooh. Pocahontas. Oh. <laughs> me. Hook me. Woo. I let her. She might have. Home now, Michael's done playing games with Nick. I think they were filming some stuff together. Um, and I am back at it again with another kitchen dinner cooking situation. Um, I think I'm gonna make some stuffed chicken breast, some roasted veggies, and some couscous. Bye. It's raining, guys, look. It's raining. I like the sound of rain and the look of rain, but I don't like the wetness of rain. Would you agree with that, babe? No, I love rain. I mean, <laughs> but not when we want to walk out to the shed and watch TV. All I can think of is from Zoolander, and he's like, water is the essence of moisture. Water is the essence of moisture, ladies and gentlemen. Rachel's about to start cooking, as she told you. Um, and... I still need to put this thing together, which is our other side table. So that's going to be my little project for the next little bit. The first one didn't go too well. Got a little bit upset with it. Anybody else get upset when you put things together and it doesn't work? Because this guy does. Also, my thumb right here, can it focus on it? You can see where it changed colors. Well, I was screwing something in and the drill went into my thumb and I yelled very loudly. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Rachel's setting all this stuff out. Woo! Let's go. So first things first, we've got some kale, mushrooms, asparagus, and tomatoes on a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil and salt and I'm about to put them in the oven. Oh yeah! At 375 to roast. Runaway tomato.
this lady that I call my wife just made. Is it a stuffed chicken? Uh-huh. What's inside of it? Uh, brie and sun-dried tomatoes and spinach. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And then this is... Couscous. Couscous. With goat cheese and asparagus and kale and okay. tomatoes. And some grilled tomatoes. Is that what those were? Roasted. How do you guys feel about my hair? This is what happens when I take hats off. But uh, the, the dinner looks great. I've never made anything like this for myself before. I don't even know if I've had grilled chicken before. How do you wrap a piece of chicken? Have grilled chicken before? Stuffed chicken. How do you wrap how do you stuff a piece of chicken? You tend like you flatten it and then you roll it up with stuff in it. Alright, well that's news to me. But yeah, this looks really good. When Michael loses focus on the television for five seconds, I steal the remote and I put on Gilmore Girls. <laughs> Ah. No, I have no idea what's happening. No. <laughs> 